If you go to the pharmacy and ask for something to prevent blisters, 99% of the time you'll be recommended Compede. I'm going to show you three reasons why Compede is not good at preventing blisters. Hello, I'm Rebecca Rushton, a podiatrist who specialises in friction blisters and author of two peer-reviewed papers in 2024, basically rewriting the blister script from what really causes them to treatment, prevention and all the bits in between. Most people think blisters are caused by this, rubbing, but they're not. They're caused by this, shear. Shear looks like rubbing, but if you look closely, nothing is actually rubbing the skin. The problem is when we think it's all about rubbing, we think the best thing to do is stick something to the skin like Compede to stop the rubbing. Compede will definitely eliminate the rubbing, but there is still shear occurring under the Compede and under the skin. And that's why people like me can still blister in spite of Compede. And it's one of the reasons why some people hate Compede. They're just using it at the wrong blister stage. Now, if I put a blob of Vaseline here and press really hard, what you wouldn't see is big shear distortions like this. You'd see this because we've made it all slippery, even though pressure remains high. Now that's how Engo blister patches work. They're like having Vaseline right where you need it for weeks or months at a time, every time you pull your shoes on. They go on the shoe or the insole, they allow the sock to be all slippy slidey against it at that small at-risk area. Click here if you want to learn more about blister prevention products, tools and techniques that address the root cause of blisters. And if you're attending the APP conference this week, please drop by our booth, F21 in the foyer, pick up your free blister kit, and I'll be happy to give you the lowdown on my research.